Hey, and welcome to today's video where we talk about scroll views in Kivi, a topic that creates some confusion, but if you get the basics right, it's actually not that tricky. This is the second video in a series related to our backup app, which is an app that we've built for our customers and from which we have learned some lessons and some tips and tricks that we are sharing with you. Um, we're not going to rebuild the backup app today, but we will start from something very basic, a very basic app that we will then make a little bit more advanced. And then finally, we'll look at how to center the text that we're scrolling through in the middle of the screen. And that actually is a little bit trickier than you would think. Have a look. So the part of the backup app uh, we'll be looking at is the help function. Um, we have discussed this app in a bit more detail in the previous videos. So please check that out if you want to see what this app exactly does. But today we'll talk about the help function. Um, so if I click on help, I get this text and I can scroll through the text all the way to the bottom. So how do I build this scroll view and have text scroll through it? That's what we'll be talking about right now. So let's start with a simple example first. We'll be building this little app here where there's a long text that you can scroll through. I've given um, different parts, different colors of background just because I want to spend some time talking about how the individual components of this app link together. Um, that's more valuable, I think, than spending a lot of time you watching me type. So. In order to do that, we'll work on a label with a light background, then we have a scroll view, and then there's also a, a red border. Okay, so the Kivi app is very straightforward. The normal components, so my app, I use the builder, I use version 2.1.0. This is my app class with its build function and I return the builder functionality linking to my GUI.kv file, which is this one on the right-hand side. And then I have this function here, this method, and to load the text that's going to be shown in my scroll view. Simple enough. Then on the Kivi side, so we, I work in a box layout with a vertical orientation. I'm using some padding here because I want to show you the individual components of this app. So we have a label within the box layout, and then we have a scroll view, and within the scroll view, we have a label that holds the text. So the label at the top, I've given that a light gray background. The scroll view itself, I give a dark gray background, and then the label within the scroll view, I've given that a red border. Okay, now how do we get to this? So the box layout, pretty straightforward. The label, pretty straightforward. Then the scroll view, I let um, scrolling happen on X and Y, although you'll see in our case that the scrolling is only going to be over the Y axis, so up and down. This is the background. Then I have the label, I give it an ID. I will need that in one of the later examples. Give the label a red border. And then this is the crux of how it works. So in our simple solution, we're going to use a size hint to set the size of the label. So size hint Y, so this is relative to the parent and the parent is our scroll view. So what I'm saying is that the size of the label is five times the size of that of the scroll view, therefore it's larger. So therefore we can scroll. If your label isn't high enough or isn't higher than the parent, then there will be no scrolling. Okay. And so that's how we can make this scroll. Um, I choose five because that is relevant for the size of the text that I will be showing. In the next example, we'll make this more dynamic because if your text can change size, then um, this five won't always work. And actually with the five, there's already an issue which I will show you a bit later. Okay, so the, the label width as part of the scroll view, so this is 100 or 100%, such that the label takes up the entire width of the scroll view. Now I'm going to change this to 50 to show you the individual components. And then we have to adjust the text size to the size of the label so that the text fits. So this is important. 
if we don't change the text size, then this won't this, this won't work. Okay. So this is the alignment of the text within the label. This is not the alignment of the label within the scroll view. This is the alignment of the text in the label. This is also the alignment of the text within the label. And the text to appear in the label, we get that from the load text function in the app, which is this one here. So it literally just opens up a little text file. Okay, so the thing I've changed here is um, the width of the label. So let's see what that does. So what we are getting now is a better view of the different components. So we have the light gray at the top. That's our first label. We have the dark gray. That is the scroll view. And then the red, that's the label within the scroll view. So I've changed size to be 50%, so it only takes up... 50% of the width. In a later version, we'll show how to center this within the scroll view. That's actually not as straightforward as it sounds, but we'll, we'll get to that. So this is a, a simple um, example. Let me set this back to 100, and then I'll show you an issue with the, um, the current setup. So now the label takes the entire width of the scroll view, and I can scroll. Now, if I keep scrolling to the bottom, you have this empty space. Now, this is not the te the text stops here. There is there are no extra spaces or empty lines at the end of this text. Um, why this is happening is because we fixed the size hint to be five, and that is a bit too much apparently. So the the label is too large. Um, for the text. So that we want to fix. Now, of course, you can play around with this to make it four or three and see what fits better, but there's a better way of doing that, and we'll cover that in the next example. So in the next example, um, I want to fix this issue where at the bottom of the text there was some empty space because we used a size hint of five. So how, how do we do that? The Python piece doesn't change. It's just uh, in the in the Kivi bit. So so this is the size in five. This is where we left off. To make this a little bit more dynamic, um, the first thing you have to do is to switch off the height. In my case, the height. If you are doing um, you know scrolling over the width, then it needs to be the width. So the axis over which you will be scrolling, you need to set the size and the hint or the size hint to unconstrained. So the text size for me, the width is what the width of the of the parent of my um, label. But the Y axis, I'm going to set that to none. And the same for the size hint over Y, I'm going to set that to none. Now then I want to make sure that the label size is as high as it needs to be to fit the text. But it also needs to be at least as high as the parent. So I can use a max function in the height property of my label. I'm going to say I'll take the maximum of either the height of the text, so the texture size, not text, texture size, one, So because that's, a, that's a, um, a tuple with width and height, so I need the second one, which is index one. And then I also look at the height of the parent. So I take the maximum of those two, and that's the height of my label, and that will make sure that um, that fits better. Okay, um, and that gives you the app as it is here. So you can see it goes, it starts from the very top, and you can scroll to the very bottom. Now, you can say, well, Stephen, you've just fitted that to, to fit this particular text. So what I can do, this is a normal version. I'm going to show you a long version and a short version of this text to show you that the size of the label adjusts and we don't have any empty spaces um, at the top or at the bottom. So let's start with a short version. So you see this is a different version. This is short. I can still scroll. You see I don't have to scroll as far as I used to because this is a far shorter version, but there is no space at the end. You can see the red, the red border, which is the, the border of my label. Yeah, it goes from the very top to the very bottom without leaving too much space. 
and then I can also do a long version see this is a long version different version so I have to scroll a little bit more keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling until you get to the bottom and you can see again you see the red border which is the, the edge of my label and that's where the this ends the process so that's the end of the text so that's a more advanced um, example to show you or to your know, you to be able to use different uh, lengths of text within the same scroll view now um, something the last thing I want to adjust so remember if I put the size hint to something different the X size hint of the label then you'll find that this is sitting on the left hand side what if I want to center this just if I for example I want to use 90% so it takes up almost all the width but I want to leave a border um, on the left and the right how do I do that so how do I center this label within my scroll view we'll look at that in the next example so in the final example of this video you can see we've implemented the uh, previous improvement where the text goes all the way to the bottom and there's no empty spaces at the bottom but we've also centered the label within the scroll view now to do that and that's actually a bit more um, complicated than expected on the Python site nothing changes except that I've linked it to a different um, KV file but let's park that for now the the changes really happen here in the Kivi side so in order for you to center something the easiest thing to do is to stick it in an anchor layout so whereas previously I had my scroll view and then the label being a direct child of the scroll view and I stick the label in an anchor layout so here's my label I'm not changing anything when it comes to the label code that's all the same as it was before what I am changing is I'm sticking this label in an anchor layout and then I need to make sure that this anchor layout links with the parent its parent the scroll view and its child the label in such a way that the anchor layout scrolls and shows the entire text within the label so same logic as before so to enable scrolling you need to unconstrain the axis you're scrolling over okay We've talked about that before and that means both the size and the size hint so for my anchor layout my text size I keep the width that's fine but I set the Y to none and the size hint over Y I set that to none as well and I want to anchor it um, horizontally I want to center it I can do left or right I want to center it in this particular case and this is crucial um, we want to adjust the anchor layout so that it's large enough to encompass the label that holds the text and you access that label via its ID now I wrote down here show what it does without that because let me comment that out and then show you what we have so okay cool we have the same layout we've got it centered that's great we've got our red border around the label but if I scroll up or down nothing I can't I can't get to the bottom of it or I can't get to the very top of that and why is that well effectively what's happening is my label is no longer what's scrolling it's the anchor layout that's scrolling right because it's the anchor layout that's in the scroll view but my anchor layout is not large enough to take the size of the label the label is too large for the anchor layout but the anchor layout doesn't know that so, and the scroll view definitely doesn't know that so we're scrolling the anchor layout but that layout is too small to take the entire label because there's a large text on this label so what you need to do is you need to make sure that your anchor layout is as high as your label okay and so the way to do that is by setting its height to the height of the label now how do I get to the label well, my label has an ID label info so because this is a child I have direct access to that so I can use that and then I pick up the height property from that so that should uh, address the issue I've put some extra commentary in here 
um, because if you look for help on Stack Overflow and when it comes to linking the size of child children with parents, um, you often see this being quoted. So you set the size to that of the parent size. So what this means is we're setting the anchor size to that of its parent, which is the scroll view. Um, but then one, that doesn't address the fact that the label is bigger than the anchor. And secondly, if you do that, that means there is no reason to scroll anything because the size of what you are scrolling the anchor layout is the same as the size of the scroll view so there won't be any scrolling so just in case you ever try that or if, in case you are um, working with your scroll view and nothing scrolls have a look at that and see if you've set whatever is being scrolled to the size of the um, of the scroll view and therefore there's no reason to scroll so that's it um, that's the uh, the three examples I wanted to show you today. I uh, hope you found that useful or at least interesting. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment or even consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.